Hello friends, this video I will show you how to make cinematic text intro. So let's start the video. My name is Hassan Saif and you are watching Denvo official channel. For more tips and tricks, subscribe my channel. So let's get started. First you are add soundtrack on this layer. You can use different sound as your choice. Now I'm use this option, adjust track height. So that this layer becomes smaller. Now we will create the text. First, so I'm gonna text option and type default title. Just click and drag into this place. Now we will adjust it. We have sound play and we will adjust the layer of text. Now let's play it. We will reduce the text layer a little so that the text is according to our sound. Now click on text layer and go to advanced option. I will type the name of my channel here. And change text size. And also change text font. I will use this text and change text space to 50. and press ok now use lens layer just select and drag into upper layer just left click on this and change blending mode to screen we will now adjust this lens layer below the text now we will click on the timeline screen and press the down arrow key on the keyboard you can customize it as your choice now let's play it now we will create another text in the same way just select both layer and copy and paste it now click on text layer go to the advanced option and type new cinematic and change text font sorry I made a spelling mistake let's fix it now change text size now we will add another layer click it to bring it down and type trailer and change text font name and change text space now we can adjust these two texts and press ok now same adjust the lens layer according to the text now we play it and see what it looks like We adjust it according to the sound. Let's make it a little smaller. It looks good now. Now I can quickly create all the text you have to follow the same method. Here I have placed the keyframing text because we will resize it more than the previous text. I'll see you play because we have to adjust it according to the sound.
now click on the text and you see her i changed the size of both text is i'll make it all quickly you will watch it carefully because the video gets longer so i make it faster I made them all in the same text you can also make them separately because the sound here was a little fast so I entered all the text in one layer in the first text I reduced the size of the keyframe in text now next in the next layer I increase the size because it is adjusted according to the sound This is my final project that I have made a complete intro you can see here. I have added the flashlight as you may have been seen in the intro. I will put it all files in the description for you. You can easily download these files. Let me show you where it was used in the flashlight. You know where to add the cinematic effect. You can also add it here. Otherwise you can use this effect in the last of the video to complete your intro as your choice. Now I will remove the extra sound from here. I hope you understand well. I can now export this video. We have exported the video, now we delete this all layer, now we import the video here that we exported. We will now use the key framing option on the video which will move our text backwards. Now just click and add to this layer. Now left click on this layer and select animation and customize. Wherever we want our text to move, we will add keyframing. Here, we make this layer a little bigger. You have to adjust to where you want your text to move. Just click on it and reduce the size 50. Now, where our screen is looks black we will increase its size to 100. Now we will add in the same way and reduce the size of 50. Now you have to adjust in the same way. I can do all the editing quickly. Our final step is to add the smoke pack and particle files. Just click and add to this layer. Now just like we did the first step and adjust it according to the sound. We will also adjust the smoke effect according to the sound. Now click on first layer 
and change blending mode to screen and press ok now click on particle and drag into this layer we move this layer upward so that the other two layers of ours are adjusted now let's reduce this particle layer as well now click on this smoke effect and reduce its opacity now click on both layer and copy these for layers just press ctrl c and ctrl v now i can quickly create all these procedures you have to follow the same method Now my video is ready and we play it and see what it looks like. I'm sorry my system is a little bit slow. I'll export it and let you watch the video. Here I type final trailer new and click export. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more amazing tips and tricks, subscribe my channel. Allah Hafiz.